this is chi david crypto channel and um on this video i just want to show you guys especially those of you that are just uh, starting to mine the ruby coin just like me this account has three uh, ruby coin so you have to be mining your ruby coin every day every day every day you know ruby is a very good asset and when it lists you know those who uh, have uh, an account with ruby and they mine until they get the accounts verified they will enjoy it so right now uh you're not verified yet you're just starting okay remember that before you can be verified you need to have about 30 rubies that is when you'll be invited for kyc and you need to be active you understand so i've started for like a week now uh not even up to a week not up to a week and i'm having three rubies already you know before uh, a month runs out I, I would have up to 23 or thereabouts you know so that's it so now you come to this place what we just want to create a wallet this video is how to create a wallet uh, for your ruby so you come to this place where you have the wallet symbol here is the profile the home and here is discovery here is um another icon maybe the statistics and here is the wallet okay where we're going to is the wallet this place where this uh, icon that is moving is showing so you click on this wallet symbol here once you click on the wallet symbol once you click on the wallet symbol and um, here we I say start creating a wallet you come to this place you click on start creating a wallet let's see it says uh, each account can only create and synchronize one wallet you see your private key is used who stores the private key so these are the things you have to sign okay you check this here once you check this that's done you come here you click continue so you come to this place you click on continue once you click on continue it says choose a memory category in the following items to continue choose a memory category memory is a set of category that represents your personal inclinations please choose a favorite category from the ninth from the nine category above so like what can be used to represent your uh personal inclination or you know, you know something you are maybe you are uh you are that can be used to identify your person you understand it like for this now this is music it could be lifestyle or anything this is fruit are you the person that like fruit are you the person that like animals house sports or uh, whatever so for me i think i'm just gonna be uh using sports let me just use sports so i'll click on sports then they say here yeah, continue let me just continue click on continue they say now select a memory item below to continue okay memory item is a unique mark of you at any time you can be suggested by the thing you are most impressed with okay, please choose an item to continue so i will advise you when you are choosing all this thing it's for a reason choose something that you can remember okay like the first one i chose sports i know i love sports very well and then under the sports now they brought out something they say memory uh they say a memory item is a unique mark of you at any time to be suggested so after i've chosen sports then the same which sports i love football i know i love basketball i love tennis i love boxing i love uh okay that's all i love cycling also but for this i think uh, the most the sports i'm very much interested in lately i think the boxing i engage more like i'm more conversant with boxing uh than the football you know so i just have to use boxing so i'll choose boxing so whenever it comes up anytime any question as regarding it i know i wouldn't i won't fail it because there's something i am uh okay with so now here is the the next is the pass phrase okay so this is the seed phrase rather the seed phrase and they say one in group of 12 keywords with the other as above is unique only you store only you store it never share these codes with anyone so sh do not share these codes with anyone very important so i'm just gonna copy my code copy my code okay i've screenshotted it and i've copied it let me click on download and see if that will highlight let me click on download download it Okay, save to gallery to photo gallery okay so you have to click on download here yeah, once you click download it to say save to photo gallery then this here will be highlighted the once this is highlighted this here is highlighted you click on seed phrase saved you click on seed phrase saved now here is the uh hash code this is the hash code for your uh the hash code for 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 my ruby okay then i have to still click on download to download it you click here first of all maybe you just need to copy when you copy then you come here you click on download to get have it saved in your uh in your gallery so i've downloaded it and i've copied it then this will be highlighted here hash code saved 
so that's good now the next one is the qr code okay so this is the qr code now all you just have to do is click on download later you can check them in your gallery save to photo gallery then qr code saved click on qr code saved and that's it so you see that this wallet is very strong very very strong you see here is your wallet public address chiru b1 as you can see it says your wallet has been created successfully so it's not a, a common something uh, you know it's very important so you have to be very careful while creating your so now you click access wallet click on access wallet you can see now it says please choose wallet you can connect up to three wallets at the same time and allow switching between them but only one wallet in user can be can be sent assets so it's only one wallet you can send your asset so is there a need uh creating much wallet so the wallet has been created okay so guys so guys once uh, the wallet is ready like this the next thing you need to do is it says please choose wallet so this is the wallet you created you need to click on this just tap here tap on this here on this place like this once you tap on it it says please choose a wallet access method do you want to be using your seed phrase to access your wallet the seed phrase you were given or the qr code or your hash code okay i think i will use my seed phrase let me click on seed phrase you click on seed phrase now you are now asked to uh, choose each word in order of your seed phrase code. Choose each word in the order of your seed phrase code to fill here before your wallet can be opened. So we just have to be doing that already. Alright, so I'm just going to be choosing my phrase according to the order it was arranged. The way I wrote it down in my uh, book. The way I jotted it down in my uh, book. So I'm just going to start. So once you do the same thing you fill everything accurately then just you will know that the wallet is are gonna be open so once i'm done with that i'll tell you what i got so guys once you are done selecting the next thing to do is just to click access wallet once you click access wallet here yeah, then your wallet will open like this this is how your wallet is gonna be opened then if you come to this place and this place where you have this eye sign you click on it it will show your wallet balance you see you're having nothing in this balance so this is your wallet now if you want to receive uh something like i said you can be buying uh ruby you can decide to be buying ruby it's been sold for 200 250 300 and be keeping it in your wallet you can still receive even without doing your verification then uh, later i'll show you how to do your verification remember you need to do a 30 day straight mining and you need to have 30 ruby before you can be you can qualify for your uh wallet uh for your verification of which uh, i will be doing a video making a video on how you can do your verification uh some other time okay so that's it so if you want to receive ruby now you just click on receive if you want to share your wallet you click on receive then you come here you have copy you copy and that's all remember i said you can buy uh you can buy ruby from someone if you can if you want to okay i just did um a little transaction from somebody i paid somebody to get ruby of 100 pieces from the person now when you come to this uh notification symbol here you, you click on this notification symbol here once you click on it you're going to be seeing that uh it says received plus 100 ruby ben received so ben sent me this so i've received if you want to see it you come to your wallet now I guess this token now like this has not been transferred to your wallet because you're still mining this but the one in your wallet now this is the one i bought this is the one in my wallet i click on the wallet you see that i created and you can see it says available 554 uh dollars what of it you know you remember that this um, value may not be the same uh value when ruby will finally list okay but for now 100 is showing 554 dollars uh -huh. but we might not say this is gonna be the value by then okay so that's just it but i bought 100 pieces and it's showing me 554 dollars and of course it, this might be the value of it who knows so it's a very good uh, project i would want each and everyone to at least secure some now uh, I, I that's what i would say and make sure you do your verification video will be dropping on that as well like i said uh before that you need to have up to 30 of this ruby coin here and you have to mine for 30 days before you can be invited for kyc now if you want to do your kyc let me just show you where you can trace your kyc from you come to the profile symbol here uh, last icon below left of your screen you click on it then it brings you here then you're gonna see this um, my information user verification account security you click on 
user verification then remember you can come to account security to update some security or for your account while you come here user verification you click on user verification once you click on user verification you see it says ekyc not verified for all these if you like you can connect them but i'm not advising you to but if you want to connect them that's on you but for the kyc ekyc not verified so you click on this ekyc if you want to see the status of your uh, kyc you click on it click on this ekyc not it says not verified you click on it so you click continue here once you click continue now you can see what qualifies you for kyc it says minus commitment okay, kyc version 1.5 checklist so number one here is complete ownership information over 30 days so you need to have mine for over 30 days so um you must have mined for over 30 days complete ownership information over 30 days so you need to be consistent in your mining for 30 days then the second one it says exploit at least 30 ruby so you need to have exploited uh, about 30 rubies that is own 30 rubies rubies you mined then the th the third one any one of these you've accomplished it will be ticked then the third one is receive invitation from kyc 1.5 so once you have achieved this number one and number two the next is you will receive the invitation from uh, from KYC 1.5. So you'll be invited for the KYC and then you can click here continue. This will be highlighted by then. Once this three has been checked, then you can go ahead with your KYC. Okay. But that's not the main reason for this video. Okay. This video is just how to create your wallet. So it's just to inform you on this so you'll be aware. Thank you.